Hi, my name is Marco Williams from Hashbang Games, and today I want to show you how to use Sprite Keyframe Studio. Uh, SK Studio is going to be available in the Asset Store, uh, and what it does is take an ordinary sprite sheet like like this and turn it into a Unity animation. <coughs> so what we're going to do is I have an examples folder that will come with the project and I'm going to take this um, sprite sheet zap and I'm going to turn it into a unity animation uh, and what it's doing is it's animating the UV offset so that it animates this texture <coughs> so the first thing we're going to do is go up to window and we're going to open up Hashbang Games SK Studio. And in this window, um, you can select a material. So I don't have a material yet for this, uh, so I'm go going to go ahead and create one. And before we create a material, what we need to do is set this to advanced and make sure that the read write is enabled here. So we want to make sure that it's a writable texture. Once that's done, we can go ahead and create our material, create new material. So mat underscore zap. <clears throat> and for this material, I'm going to use an unlit transparent texture. I mean, a uh, shader. I'm going to drag this up here. And now you see that we have this. So um, since I know that there are 36 uh, sprites in this sprite sheet and that we only have one two three four five six rows I can do a simple calculation here and and do six divided by 36 to get uh, 1.7 so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and set my tiling to 1.7 here and 1.7 there. So that kind of gives us our default start position. Now that that's done, we can come up here and select our material. And notice that this does not line up properly because the defaults are set for an 8 by 16 sprite sheet, but we have a 6 by 6. So I'm going to change that here and I'm going to set it to run at 30 frames per second. <clears throat> now we want to create a new animation. Once you create it, it shows up here in the scene editor. We now need to add a sequence. To add a sequence, uh, you right click, click start, and since the sprite sheet consumes the whole sheet, I'm going to go all the way to the end and select end. You can preview your sprite sheet at any time by right clicking and select preview animation and now you can see what it's going to look like so now we want to add this sequence a sequence is going from the start point to the end point so we're going to go ahead and add our sequence and i'm going to name it zap one thing to notice is that you can split up a single sprite sheet uh, into multiple sprite sheets. So let's say from here to here was one sprite sheet or one sequence. Um, you can create uh, multiple sequences. So I'm going to turn off the preview. I can just drag this up here um, and then create a new sequence and I'll call this zap short. And now if I click Generate Animations, I'll have one sequence that, if we preview it, it's just doing the very short version. And then we have the other one that is the whole sprite sheet. This is good if you have like a character and from this frame to this frame, you are just doing running north and this frame to this frame is running you know, south and that sort of thing. 
uh, allows you to kind of split up and create multiple animation sequences um, at the same time uh, and on the same object. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and click Generate Animations. And we can go ahead and close out uh, Sprite Keyframe Studio. You're going to notice that the object disappears, disappears from the scene. And what has happened is that we now have two animations in our animations folder underneath the material name. And we have a prefab underneath the material name. If I drag the prefab to the scene, you will see our animation. By default, it does not put a, a default animation clip. So you'll want to drag one over to it. And if you push play, you can see it run. Now notice it only ran one time. That is because you need to set it to loop. So if you click on the animation, select loop, and click play, we now can see that the animation runs continuous. That's the gist of Sprite Keyframe Studio. Uh, look for it in the Asset Store, and thank you for watching.